Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to fix screen tearing in Player Unknown's Battleground. So there are a couple ways to fix that terrible screen tearing type effect that you can sometimes get in PUBG. The first is to go into the options and turn on VSync. This is obviously really self-explanatory. It does have a hit to FPS. Now, I've heard reports that this doesn't work for everyone, so we're going to go through a couple different ways to fix it as well. So I have an AMD uh, card. The steps are going to be identical for someone with an NVIDIA card. There's just a slightly different user interface. So I'm going to open up down in my toolbar here. I'm going to open up Radeon settings. And I'm going to start out at this screen. I'm going to go to gaming, the gaming tab. And I'm going to find PUBG here. Okay, so there's PUBG. Okay, and then there's a couple different things I can do here to fix that tearing. The first here is where it says wait for vertical refresh off unless applica application specifies. I can go hit always on right here or enhanced sync. And uh, you can try both of these. Both of these, again, can kind of force on that vertical sync. If for whatever reason you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can go to frame rate target control which is disabled by default and you can set this frame rate target control to be whatever the refresh rate of your monitor is or to be a fraction of what your refresh my your monitor's refresh rate is Ugh, i can't talk today so i have a 144 hertz monitor meaning that the picture can refresh up to 144 times per second so I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to set it to 144. So that means that, so the tears are caused when you get a new picture before the previous picture has updated, essentially. It, it, that's, that's a very layman's way of explaining it, and I'm sure there are others that can explain it better than that. But by setting your frame rate to be the same, as your monitor's refresh rate, you make sure that it's getting exactly one picture per uh, update of your monitor. So if you can't do that for whatever reason, you're going to want to set it to a fraction. So for example, I could set it to about 50% of the, it would actually be a little bit more than that, wouldn't it? But any, any whole fraction is, gonna, is going to give you the same effect just obviously with more with less frames per second. All right, so let's say you don't want to do that. There are a couple more options. Uh, these are a little bit more complex, though. The first is that you can use something called Cheat Engine to actually lock the FPS of a game. I would be extremely cautious about doing that, though. I have not test... Oops, excuse me. I have not tested that, and, uh, well, it is called Cheat Engine for a reason. So I would be extremely careful about using anything that plugs in to PUBG. I cannot guarantee that that will not get your account banned. And then the last thing you could do is you could buy a either free or uh, a free sync mo or V-Sync monitor. And uh, basically what those are is they're special monitors made by either NVIDIA or AMD, depending on your card, that uh, have essentially a built-in v-sync uh capability so but those are a bit more pricey i don't know if i would do that just for PUBG. for the same price you could probably upgrade your graphics card and then just turn on v-sync well as always guys let me know if you have any ways of dealing with uh screen tearing in PUBG. all of the ways i've discussed with the possible exception of Cheat Engine will not get you banned. All of them are just settings tweaks. I know that's a common question I get in my videos. As always, guys, hope to see you next time. Bye. Okay, so very briefly, I'm also going to cover how to do this exact same thing for NVIDIA cards, which I don't have, so we're just going to have to use the NVIDIA website. So what we can do is we can do the exact same thing as the frame rate target control, utilizing what's called frame lock. In Nvidia and basically you're just going to go into your frame sync control panel right here shown on the upper part of the screen and then you're going to set your frame synchronization technology your frame lock 
to whatever FPS target that you need to uh, go on based upon your monitor.